वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाघ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ग्रेन सेपरेटर्स सो सो दीज दीज आर द लेक्चर नंबर फोर एंड फाइव from the course post harvest engineering of cereals pulses and oil seeds so in this particular lectures we will cover various types of grain separators the all the separators will be covered in uh, different uh, parts of video lectures so in this part one of the lecture number 4 and 5 uh, we will cover air screen cleaner so in this uh, so there are various types of grain separator the first one is the air screen cleaner then specific gravity separator disc separator magnetic separator indented cylinder separator spiral separator pneumatic separator inclined wrapper belt separator velvet roll separator color sorter cyclone separator etc so every grain separator works on the different engineering properties of the biological materials it means that particular engineering property is exploited to design the specific type of grain separator so in a subsequent video lectures we will cover all these separators in detail so starting with the air screen cleaners so when the screen cleaner combined with the air blast arrangement it performs satisfactorily or it does separation satisfactorily and the cleaning of granular material it is generally work on the basis of three cleaning system so this air clean cleaner basically consist of three systems the first one is the first one is the blowing or aspiration second one is the scalping system and the third one is the grading lower screen so these three system are used to separate the different constituents of the grain mixture so these air clean cleaners are classified on the basis of movement of the screening surface so what is the motion of the screen surface on that basis uh, these air clean air screen cleaners are classified into two categories the first one is the vibratory air screen cleaner and the second one is the rotary air screen cleaner so first we will study vibratory air screen cleaner and then rotary air screen cleaner so first vibratory air screen cleaner so before going to uh, study the operation of this or how it works uh, we will see the construction of air screen cleaner so this air screen cleaner consists of double or multiple screens so it has minimum two screens and maximum up to eight number of screens so all these screens are tightened together and suspended by a hanger in a such way that these all screen will have horizontal oscillating motion and slightly vertical motion so these two motion the purpose of this motion is described in this particular uh, third point that is these two motion in combination move the grain down the screen surface and at the same time tosses sufficiently above the screen surface so that 
the bear of the grain is properly stirred so the the function of horizontal oscillating motion is to move the grain down the screen surface and the purpose of vertical motion is to toss grain sufficiently over the screen surface so because of this two motion what happens each and every particle of the mixture gets a chance to meet the screen openings and according to that the separation occurs suppose oversize a uh, matter or material contact the skin surface so because of its uh, large shape it will not passes through the screen surface but it will travel downward because of the horizontal oscillating motion but if the particle is of a undersized material then it will pass through the screen opening to the uh, next screen so this is the main basic uh, purpose of providing uh, these these two motions to the screen the slope of the screen is adjustable to control the rate of downward travel of the grain to in order to perform satisfactorily the screen should be given optimum slope this optimum slope is given to control the rate of downward travel of the grain so these screens are available in various shapes like round triangular or slotted holes so these are the openings of perforated metal sheets this particular part we have already covered in our in our previous video lecture uh, number 3 so depending upon the uh, variety of or grain to be processed we use the uh, number of uh, screen openings so sometimes the holes of the screens are clogged when the fine degree of sorting or separation is made by the machine so if in some cases if we do the very fine operation in order to achieve a higher efficiency in such cases there may be chances of clogging the whole of the openings so to avoid such clogging the screens are generally fitted with a brush which moves under the screen and pushes the clogged material back through the screens so other such devices can also be used for this purpose in order to avoid the clogging of the screen openings so this is the diagram of vibratory air screen cleaner so in this diagram various part of the uh, vibratory air screen cleaner are shows number one indicates the feed hopper number two indicates the baffle plate the function of the baffle plate is to lose the grain mixture so that uh, each and every particle uh, of the mixture uh, stirred and properly uh, meet properly spread over the surface of the upper screen so the number three is the blower number four is the upper screen number five indicates the discharge channel six number indicates the sand shifter seven indicates the ascending separation separator eight discharge the indicates the discharge funnel uh, 9 number indicates the centriclone or cyclonic separator and 10th number indicates the dust bags to collect the dust particle and other light impurities which are sucked away by the aspirator so if we uh, see this diagram the blower part is the aspiration system as we discussed in previous slides that this particular air screen cleaner uh, consists of three systems. The first one is the blowing or aspiration system. Second one is the scalping system. Scalping system is indicated by the number four. First system that is blowing or aspiration is indicated by the number three. And the third system that is uh, 
grading system is indicated by the sand shifter that is number 6 so we will now study the operation of this vibratory air screen cleaner so it is a two screen machine as shown in the figure this is a in this particular diagram two this is the machine provided with a two screen so, so it is a two screen machine fitted with aspirator to suck away the light materials so this is the aspiration system here this the function of this aspiration system is to suck away the light impurities so while the grain passes from the feed hopper over the baffle plates to the upper screen so while passing from the feed hopper over the baffle plates to the upper screen so this is the path of the uh, grain to comes over the surface of the upper screen or a scalping system so from the feed hopper the grain uh, first will come to the baffles and then from, from over the baffles it will come to the uh, upper scalping screen so during this passage uh, the light particles are sucked away by aspirator during during this path or during this operation so coarse impurities such as stones straw particles etc's are screened off by upper screen and discharged out through an outlet as shown in the figure as i told you that the num this particular vibratory air screen cleaner consists of three systems the first one is the uh, blowing or aspiration system and the second one is the uh, scalping screens or scalping system and third one is the grading system so the first one first operation we covered here or first the function of the first uh, system we have covered in the first first three points then in the third point it is also indicated that the uh, function of the second system that is scalping system that is coarse impurities such as stones straw particles etc are screened off by upper screen and discharged out through an outlet so the grain falls through onto the lower screen where the sand and dust particles are screened off so these grains leaves the machine through the discharge funnel as shown in the figure the eight number shows the discharge funnel so grains leaves this machine through the discharge funnel so while passing through the dis uh, discharge funnel so these grains are again cleaned by the upward drop of the uh, air column which is shown by number 7 so okay so while passing through the funnel the grains are again cleaned by upward draft of uh, air in ascending separator during this process the remaining light impurities and shrivel grains are sucked away and the light impurities are removed by cyclone separator to which the dust bags are attached for the collection of the impurities so such vibratory air clean cleaners can also be operated manually either using hand or pedal system but in such cases the capacity of cleaners is lower than the power operator machine so this is about the vibratory air screen cleaner in very detail we covered this vibratory air screen cleaner so the next type of cleaner is uh, rotaries uh, rotaries air screen cleaners the rotary screen cleaners has normally circular decks so in a vibratory air screen cleaner there is a rectangular deck but in rotary screen cleaners uh, the deck is normally circular as the shape of the screen is uh, cylinder type so the motion of these uh, screens is circular in horizontal play, plane in vibratory air screen cleaners the motion um, is horizontal oscillating and slightly vertical so these uh, rotary air screen cleaners have either single or double drum 
so as shown in the figure so this is the figure of single drum rotary air screen cleaner and this one is the figure of double drum rotary air screen cleaner so first we will study this single drum rotary air screen cleaner so this machine consists of rotary screen comma aspirator and hopper and equipped with an electric motor this electric motor is used to give power or drive to the rotary screen and the aspiration system so this is the diagram which, you, which shows the different parts of the single drum rotary air screen cleaner that is feed hopper rotary screen aspirator discharge chute oversized foreign matter outlet and vibratory screen uh, that is shown by number six so this is the now operation how the separation is achieved using this single drum rotary air screen cleaner so the mixture is fed into the hopper the sound grain passes through the screen perforations into the center of the uh, rotary screen or screen drum whereas oversized material is written above the screen and which are carried towards the outlet due to the rotation of the drum which, which is shown by the point 2 that point 2 indicates the rotary screen and the arrow of rotational direction of the uh, drum is clock, clockwise so when the material comes over the surface of the rotary drum the sound crane passes through the uh, openings to the center of the screen whereas large impurities are retained over the surface of the screen and carry carried towards the uh, oversized foreign matter outlet so after this the sound grains comes out at the center side of the screen drum ro which rotates at low speed and fall onto the vibratory screen that is shown by number six in the previous slide which screen removes the dirt particles so the light particles like straw and dust are sucked away by the aspirator and the discharge through the aspirator outlet as shown in the figure uh, this point number three indicates the um, sucking away of the light impurities when the grains from the rotary drums comes over the uh, vibratory screen so the clean grains are delivered through the discharge chute a double drum rotary screen cleaner is also shown in the figure uh, so this uh, has two these have two rotary screens and other components are same as in the case of single drum rotary air screen cleaner the two sc screen rotates in opposite direction to each other as shown in the figure in which uh, at the left, left hand side of the figure that is point two number shows the rotary screen the direction of rotation should be anti-clockwise but in the diagram it is shows in a, shown in a clockwise it is uh, somewhat wrong it should be in an anti-clockwise direction so the only difference between two uh, uh, rotary cleaners is that the in the efficiency as we provided two drums in the second type so this ultimately increases the uh, efficiency or capacity of the machine so this is the only difference that other parts operation is same so thank you so in this way in, in very detail we have covered vibratory air screen cleaner uh, and rotary air screen cleaner in this particular video lecture in the next video lecture we will continue with the another type of uh, grain separator so thank you once again